is another T34 game on steps with Hardest and Ethan again. Same team comp as last time, BDR, Churchill and T34. So as usual on steps, I'm going to take my medium tank to the east. See the bulk of our heavies have gone west, which is about right. Ethan's decided to come east though. Our ELC runs up to spot. I'm moving into position, the enemy ELC reciprocates in kind. I auto aim because I haven't really got the coordination to steer my tank and chase him with the mouse at the same time. Uh, thankfully RNG is in my favour. The T-34 is really good for chasing down scouts like that just because of that really high rate of fire on the gun and it's quite mobile. It doesn't turn very well but it's fairly fast on flat ground. Fast enough to keep up with an ELC that's trying to leave. So I missed that shot on the M7. Just, I was about to wait for him to come back out and I spotted this thing, which I very much did not want to be hit by. It's me driving back and forth a bit like a puppy there, but thankfully it fucked with his aim just enough that he didn't manage to fire a shot at me. So I can see the Chiha is about to dive on our Cromwell here, so I just waited out. Now, I can't get, uh, get the gun depression to really work this corner without putting myself at risk, but he decides to just derp in front of me for some reason. So I'm able to actually just sit on the side of the hill and shoot him, but the rest of the enemy team cottons onto what I'm doing. And so I managed to get the Chi Re down to just 30 hit points before backing away. Sorry if my commentary is a little Dozy, to say the least. Uh, I didn't get much sleep last night and it is hotter than hell in here. I'm having trouble stringing words together. So I see a T-150 coming at me. Um, probably should just load a gold to start with, but oh well. Couldn't pay him anywhere. Got hit. Didn't want to be hit by that again, so I just backed off. Um, really, I should have just gone straight to gold when I saw that happening. There was no way I was going to pay him with AP. I don't know why I didn't just go to gold, but whatever. So now there's the M7 and KV-1. They give me side armor, but I've just got to be careful about the tanks to my right. How would the AT2, uh, AT2 was hard, is there to distract their shots. So I take out the M7 and then move on the KV-1, and the enemy heavies focus on the AT2, which is very kind of them. So I'm able to kill the KV-1 as well. And then I do a very stupid thing. Uh, you can see me trying to get a shot on this 1S, it bounces. I probably could have penned him if I aimed just a little better and got better RNG, but it's not worth sitting in front of a KV-1S. So, I decide to flank the T-150. I should have gone further to the right. If I cut across maybe 10 meters further to the right, that wouldn't have happened and I would have been able to shoot him in the side of the turret. As you can see, he's not fully upgraded. That looks like an 85mm gun. Actually, no, not even. It's either the top 76 or the uh, 85, I can't tell. But I managed to get out a decent amount of damage, I guess. It's not really huge, but better than nothing and establish control of the east side of the map and the rest of our team just collapses in after cleaning up the west. 
so another pretty easy game um, it, it kind of does show that this thing's good at chasing down scouts it also shows just how you play Soviet mediums pretty much as an op <coughs> excuse me as an opportunist uh, wait until somebody gets distracted then pop out and blast them in the side five or six times before running away 